The gap nail by Pega Medical. The endoexo medullary system. The first IM nail specifically designed for the treatment of fractures and deformities in patients with small diameter canals. Specifications and advantages. Ranging from 4.8 to 8 millimeters. Lengths ranging from 160 to 320 millimeters. Endo exo hyperstatic system designed to improve load distribution. Innovative implant configuration designed to improve implant stability and integrity. Precise and simple targeting system. Pre-op plan and implant selection. The gap nail system is intended to treat fractures and deformity of the femur, tibia and humerus. The lag screw technique will be presented in this video. For other techniques, please refer to the gap nail surgical technique. Diameter considerations. Selection of the gap nail diameter is based on the size of the isthmus of the medullary canal. Length considerations. The nail length can be determined preoperatively using X-ray imaging or intraoperatively after reduction by superimposing the gap nail template on the affected limb. For patients with open physes, the gap nail's tip should end prior to the growth plate. Entry point incision. The gap nail system is indicated to treat fractures and deformities of the femur, tibia, and humerus. For entry point and incision, please refer to the surgical technique. Guide wire insertion. Insert the guide wire into the canal and validate the position under C-arm in both the AP and lateral views prior to reaming. The guide wire should be in line with the femoral neck in the lateral view. Conical reaming. Select the conical reamer corresponding to the selected nail size. Ream through the tissue protector and over the guide wire. Continue reaming until the stopper reaches the edge of the tissue protector handle. Medullary canal reaming. Select the canal reamer corresponding to the selected nail size. Ream through the tissue protector and over the guide wire. Advance the reamer with steady and moderate pressure. Ream until the depth marking corresponding to the selected nail is reached. Nail insertion. Using the nail driver, turn the screw knob until the nail is fully locked on the nail driver. There should be no space between the nail head and nail driver. To assemble, the circular notch on the hexagon drive of the nail driver must align with the corresponding notch in the nail. Insert the nail into the prepared canal over the guide wire to the desired depth. Nail alignment with femoral neck must be respected. Follow the markings on the nail driver. Remove the guide wire after nail insertion. Nail position, depth and alignment verification. Using the C-arm in both the AP and lateral views, verify proper depth alignment of the nail. The gap nail template can be used to better approximate the lag screw's final position and length. Targeting device assembly. The targeting device is assembled onto the nail driver by sliding the assembly onto the nail driver and then turning the threaded cap until the assembly is fully tightened. Lag screw attachment assembly. Mount the lag screw attachment onto the targeting device. Turn the set screw knob fully to secure. Femoral neck reference. Place a guide wire on the ventral side of the femoral neck under image intensification. The guide wire should be parallel to the lag attachment. Neck alignment and depth validation. Insert the two depth gauge sleeves through the lag attachment and secure them using the compression rings. Insert the two depth gauge wires into the femoral neck and head to the desired depth. Check the gauge wires placement in both the AP and lateral views. Depth gauge wires should be centered within the femoral neck. Targeting device locking, optional. Mechanical screw hole preparation. Mount the mechanical screw sleeve into the proximal hole of the lag attachment. Secure by tightening the set screw. Do not over tighten. Ream to stopper using the mechanical screw drill. Mechanical screw pin insertion. Mount the axial handle onto the mechanical screw pin. Using the mechanical screw sleeve as guidance, insert the pin until it is fully engaged in the nail. If resistance is felt, retract the pin and clean out the hole. Do not over-tighten the mechanical screw pin. 
This can cause a misalignment between the lag attachment and the nail. Lag screw insertion. Lag screw length measurement. Using the depth gauge ruler, measure the lag screw lengths. If the measurements are in between two markings, always select the smaller length. Remove the depth gauge ruler and depth gauge sleeves once measurements are obtained. Leave the depth gauge wires. Lag hole reaming. Mount the lag screw sleeve. Using the position lock, set the lag reamer depth to the desired length. Ream until the stopper reaches the lag screw sleeve. Depth gauge wires are removed after reaming. Lag screws insertion. Using the lag screwdriver, insert the appropriate lag screws through the lag screw sleeve. Verify the position of the lag screws under image intensification in both planes. The lag screws shafts should be fully within the cortex, leaving only the threaded segment protruding from the lateral cortex. Distal attachment. Assembly. The distal attachment is used for distal cortical screw preparation and insertion in both the AP and lateral planes. It can also be used to prepare the proximal cortical and mechanical screw holes. To mount the distal attachment onto the targeting device, turn the set screw knob fully. The mechanical screw pin allows increased stability and improved targeting accuracy. Do not over tighten. Distal fixation, distal alignment and incision. Check the distal alignment using a C-arm. The holes should appear perfectly circular. Make a stab incision over the proper hole position. Distal screw hole preparation. Insert the distal cortical sleeve through the distal attachment at the appropriate position corresponding to the cortical screw holes in the selected nail. Once the sleeve is resting against the cortex, lock it in position using a set screw. The cortical screw end mill can be used first to flatten the cortex and prevent slipping of the cortical drill tip on the curved cortex. During drilling, check the drill's position under image intensification. After the end mill, use the shorter cortical drill to bore a hole until the far cortex and note the corresponding cortical screw length on the drill. Cortical screw insertion. Using the multi-purpose screwdriver, insert the cortical screws corresponding to noted length and appropriate diameter. A cortical washer may be used when dealing with fragile bones to improve distribution of stress onto the cortex. AP fixation, optional. Using an AP screw is recommended to improve rotational stability of the implant assembly. For AP nail locking, mount the AP adapter onto the distal attachment using the locking knob. Insert the cortical screw sleeve into the adapter and make a stab incision to allow insertion of the sleeve up to the cortex. Lock the sleeve in position. Using the adequate cortical screw drill, drill to the far cortex and note the corresponding screw length on the drill. Finally, insert the cortical screw using the multi-purpose screwdriver. Long plate bending. This step pertains only to the long plate. Using the two plate benders, bend the plate to conform to the femur's geometry. The long plate should not be excessively or repeatedly bent. The plate should not be reverse bent in the same location. Use care to ensure that the plate is not scratched or notched during the bending process. Plate assembly. Slide the plate onto the lag screw's threads. Using the nut screwdriver, thread the lower semispherical nut first followed by the upper. If the long plate is being used, do not fully tighten the semispherical nuts until the mechanical screw is inserted. Tighten both semispherical nuts and the mechanical screw progressively, making sure to fully tighten the lower nut first. Lag thread cutting. Cut off the threaded tips of the lag screws as close as possible to the surface of the semispherical nuts using the lag thread cutter. Nail cap insertion. Select the appropriate nail cap to ensure protrusion of the cap from the cortex. Using the multi-purpose screwdriver, insert the nail cap into the proximal internal thread of the nail.